My good friend Rema Kasuli reminds me why we say in Africa, it takes a village. Exercising leadership requires bigger and better thinking. However, exercising leadership is not a solo act. It is a collective team sport that requires us to engage and energize our fellow human beings. So how should we show up? An African philosophy called Ubuntu helps us define the meaning of our humanity and our interconnected destiny. In the South African Zulu vernacular, Ubuntu is expressed as Omuntu, Ingumuntu, Ingabantu, which translated means I am because we all are. Ubuntu first appeared in African written resources and sources in the mid-19th century. In the early 1950s, it became popularized as a philosophy and a worldview. The late and great Archbishop Desmond Tutu helped us explain and understand the meaning of Ubuntu. He defined it as the very essence of our humanity, and that my humanity and your humanity are inextricably interlinked, that I cannot succeed on a sustainable basis at your expense, and nor can you do so at mine. The Ubuntu philosophy sharply contrasts with the French philosopher René Descartes, who once famously said, I think, therefore, I am. While Ubuntu is premised on the fact that I am because we are. I think they're both right. In exercising leadership, we need bigger and better thinking. The term Ubuntu appeared in the epilogue of the 1993 Interim Constitution of South Africa, which stated that there is a need for understanding, but not vengeance, reparations, but not retaliation, Ubuntu, but not victimization. Hollywood megastar Tom Cruise recently spent almost a year filming in South Africa and fell in love with the people, the landscape, and the African philosophy of Ubuntu. During a recent award acceptance speech from the Producers Guild of America, he referenced Ubuntu and acknowledged and referenced the fact that he is and had accomplished because of all the people in that room. Ubuntu is the invisible bond that binds the human spirit. We cannot exercise leadership unless we understand that our humanity and our destinies are inextricably interlinked. As the African proverb goes, a night sky is never lit up by one brilliant star. Instead, it is lit up by billions of bright stars. Exercising leadership does require bigger and better thinking, but it also requires that we understand and embrace our global human village, the interconnectedness of our humanity. So remember that leading boldly is about making thoughtful, clear choices, and bold leadership is about taking bold action just one step at a time, one bold step for you, but together, one giant Ubuntu step for humanity. Take care and take thoughtful, bold action.